All right, so apparently uh, a minister Duclos is a little bit lost, and Pierre Polyev's here to help him find his way. So he's got a video here where he basically just exposes a guy who was saying that when Pierre Polyev was housing minister, there weren't any affordable houses then either. And Pierre Polyev fact checks him in a brutal way, and it's really funny and it's really clever, and it shows you all the numbers. So let's have a look, and then we'll talk about it after, like usual. I saw a video the other day where you were wandering lost in the streets, asking people where you could find affordable housing. Well, of course, there is no such thing. After nine years of your liberal government doubling the cost of mortgages and rent, but in particular, you were asking where is the affordable housing built while I was the housing minister in the year 2015. So I thought I would help you out. Well, right behind me, there's a house that was built for $248,000 in 2015, the year I was minister responsible. Or this one minister, built also in 2015, the year I was minister of housing, $231,000. And yet on the same street, but the other side of the road, this house is now going for four hundred and ninety thousand dollars more than double what these same units cost when i was housing minister back in 2015. or this one here minister it was built and sold in 2015 for two hundred and twenty nine thousand dollars barely half of a similar home that's going now for sale down the street today and if you think i'm just pulling out specific examples there's other ones I can give you. There's this, or this, or this, or this, or this. And you got a little bit confused, Minister, in addition to being lost in the streets, and you claimed that there were only six affordable homes built the year I was Minister. In fact, it was 194,000 new homes only a decade ago. The average mortgage payment for a new home was $1,400. Today, $3,200. The average rent on a one bedroom, about $970. Today, about $1,800. The average needed down payment for a new home, $22,000. Now, $46,000. Double, 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 trouble. So that might be why you're having so much trouble finding affordable homes anywhere you go in the streets. No, Minister, now you know how Canadians feel. I mean, that was beautiful. I mean, it's just like it's such a like a subtle insult. Hey, you're lost. Well, let me help you out. Like, <laughs> I'm worried about you. No, you're not, Pierre. We all know you're not worried about him. That's fine. That was a great roast. And I love the, the fact that he really just put up the numbers. So just a quick recap. They said he built six affordable homes. First of all, even without looking that up, who would actually believe that? Uh, that's insane. When in reality, it was 194000 It's a lot more than six, isn't it? The average mortgage payment, 1400 it is now 3200 That's more than double. Rent, 970 a month. Now it's 1800 more than double. And it's just, <laughs> you you wonder, again, like, is Trudeau and all of his cabinet and all of his ministers, are they really just that stupid to not see this problem coming? You can see it coming about 10 years ago. Right? Like, when it was the end of Harper, it was like, okay, so houses are a little bit higher than what they should be, in my opinion, even though they're much cheaper now. But then you take Trudeau and it's just gone like skyrocket. It's like, dude, if you actually wanted to help this country, you would have at least leveled it off, let, leveled it off for a few years, let people's wages catch up, the economy gets better, et cetera, et cetera. But like everything else, they made it worse, much worse. And they brag on Twitter about how the wages have gone up. How much is wage? How much have wages gone up in the past 10, 15 years? Oh, about 3%. Meanwhile, rent is 100% or more. 
more expensive. So obviously, Canadians are struggling. And this is why you're seeing, and I don't know if you heard about this, but even in Canada now, you have a rise of young men who are so pissed off at what's happening, they would actually prefer Donald Trump over Justin Trudeau. Those same young men, of course, are going to support Pierre Paul. Yeah, but it's not because they're the same. It's because when you have these young kids and they talk to their family members at Thanksgiving or Christmas and when they would tell stories, well, when I was your age, I could just go and get a job and rent a place. And they're like, what? What do you mean? You can just go and get any job, even if it's only 15, 16 bucks an hour? Yeah, because rent was only 700 bucks back then. Or if you have an, like an aunt or an uncle or your parents who are older than me, which surely your parents would be older than me, they'll tell you that, oh, you know, in Hamilton back 20, 25, 30 years ago, it was like $400 to get an apartment. And those same apartments now are probably about $1,500. So these kids are like, wait a minute. So you could go out and get a job and just start living your life right away? Yep. Well, you must have had to work 60, 70 hours a week. No, you do it 40 hours. I did it. This was in 2009. It wasn't that hard. You just had to have a stable job. I even had car payments, high insurance. Gas was getting more expensive. No problem. Because rent was only $700. Well, now that same apartment I checked a few years ago, it was 1500 then, which means it's probably about 1700 now. Well, that's all you're going to make if you come out of high school. Now, maybe you get a job where it's like 19, 20 bucks an hour. Okay, you can make over like, you know, a couple hundred or sorry, a couple grand, maybe just over that every month. But even then, 1700, you know, you have no money left. And then you got to end up working overtime if it's available or getting another job if one's available just to make ends meet. And it's disgusting and people are tired of it. And that's why you're seeing this major shift here in Canada. People are tired of it. And Pierre Polyev just keeps sparking these liberal ministers and cabinet members every single day in question period. He does it in these great ads. and It's wonderful to see. I really hope he keeps his word because we need to make Canada great again. But let me know what you think in the comments section. Uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks again so much for watching. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be back shortly with a new video.